Hello friends. Today we are going to query a SQL database uh, in natural language using Llama index. Okay. So here I have set up a Postgres database uh, with uh, two tables. Okay. Employee and the salary. So the employee table, it has just three columns, the employee ID, name and the department. And then we have another table called salary. Uh, it contains the employee ID and the salary. So these are the two tables we have and this data set database is set up locally, but it works exactly the same way, uh, whether it is hosted on cloud or anywhere else. Okay. All right. So install Llama index uh, using simple pip. And then uh, here we are importing a bunch of libraries. Uh, so create engine from SQL Alchemy. Uh, so uh, you, if you are using uh, SQL databases uh, from Python, uh, you probably know this already. Okay. And then the most important one is uh, this natural language SQL table query engine. Right. So in one of the previous videos, we saw pandas query engine uh, to query a pandas data frame in natural language. So here we are going to use this natural language SQL table query uh, engine from Llama index. Okay. And then this one, uh, it's to create uh, the SQL database. Uh, it's Llama version of SQL database, let's say. Okay. And then we need an LLM model. Here we are using OpenAI, but it can be anything. All right, now I already have my API key in my environmental variables. So this is how uh, we can access, all right? And then uh, in order to access the database, uh, we need uh, these credentials, right? The database name, username, password, host, and post, etc. right? So since it is hosted locally, the host is local host, uh, but if it is hosted on a cloud, uh, you would have uh, uh, the host ID, right? Uh, otherwise, it is uh, exactly the same. So here we are uh, just defining a variable uh, database uh, URI. So for Postgres uh, database, uh, this is how the format looks like. Uh, we have the username, password, host, port, and the database, basically these five variables, all right? So we need two things, right? We need a database and we need uh, an LLM model. We supply these two to a query engine and then we use the query engine to run queries in natural language, right? So here we are accessing OpenAI uh, LLM model, this GPT 3.5 Turbo, and then setting the temperature to 0, 0.0. That's because we want the queries uh, to be precisely uh, work on the database, right? The variable names, etc., should be exactly the same. Uh, 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 and the query should be syntax free uh, so that uh, the query can run and produce the results, right? All right. And then, uh, so using the create engine, uh, which is from SQL Alchemy, uh, we are creating the uh, database engine, right? Uh, by supplying uh, the database URI, uh, which is the connection to our database, right? And then here we are creating uh, the same the database, but let's say uh, Llama version of the database. Okay, so this function, uh, it's coming from uh, the Llama index. Okay, so basically we have supplied uh, the SQL database engine and we have created this Llama version of a database, right? And then here we simply create our query engine. Okay, so natural language uh, SQL table query engine, uh, we need to just supply uh, the uh, SQL uh, database. All right. And then uh, we can start uh, querying. Okay. So by default, it uses OpenAI uh, LLM models. So here uh, we have a query. So how many customers are there? And then uh, we simply call these queries uh, using the query engine. Okay. Query engine dot query. And we have asked this question. Now it has returned uh, an error, the reason being, as we saw from here, uh, this is an employee table containing employee information, and then the second table contain the salary information. 
but here we are asking how many customers are there so the result it throw a, an error saying um, somewhere here okay so the relation customer does yeah so as you can from see from here uh, it is simply saying hey i do not find any customers in the database uh, you have provided okay all right so let's ask this time how many employees do we have okay so that's our query and this is our response now the response uh, it says we have five employees so if you look at here we have five uh, employees okay it's a very simple query so it's basically doing uh, the count now this response it contains some metadata uh, from which we can access uh, the sql query as well okay so we can say uh, so the response dot response it contain uh, the final output and then uh, the metadata contain the sql query so the actual response this is how it looks like so this is the raw response uh, it contain this response uh, variable and it also contain the metadata uh, which include the numerical output this is more of a uh, llm sort of output because it uh, try to explain us what this number mean and then uh, here we have the sql query okay so here we are printing uh, the sql query from the metadata so even though our database supplied has two tables it should be looking at only one table and extracting the count uh, from that one table right so that's what it is doing so select count star from employee now here we are not using an agent we are using an engine right the difference is when we use an agent like react uh, it will give us uh, the steps uh, or the uh, the process it follow through right so we will see in another video how to achieve the same uh, using agents where uh, we can see a, the llm uh, doing the reasoning and act Re react means reasoning and act so it says hey i need to find out how many employees are there so let me look at the table schema and which table has the employee information so i it find the table name and then it will uh, create the sql query right so it's uh, just how we think the llm think the same way and we, it will output uh, all those steps okay uh, that's the difference between engine and a agent okay now let's ask uh, another question so name of the employee with the highest salary so as you saw uh, we have the employee information in one table and the salary information in another table so this time uh, uh, the it should be able to join the two tables in order to answer that question okay so here it said uh, the employee with the highest salary is olivia now let's see if the query uh, makes sense okay so here we are selecting the name from employee and then uh, we are joining it with the salary table using the employee id from both the employee and the salary tables okay that is looking correct and then order by salary in descending order and limit it to one that looks correct right because we have asked the top em the employee with the highest salary okay so the query is correct and the answer is uh, olivia so if you look at here it's the employee with id 9004 has the highest salary 7000 now if you go to employee table 9004 it is indeed uh, olivia okay so it is able to do the joints also properly of course uh, this is a very simple one uh, you can test on your uh, database uh, how complex uh, queries it is able to uh, generate correctly okay and finally uh, here we are asking what which department has the highest number of employees and how many are there so we are sort of implying uh, there are two questions right so which department has the highest number of employees and how many are they okay it's the same thing uh, query engine dot query and then here we get the response so from response dot response this is our actual response and from the metadata here we are getting the uh, sql query okay so uh, it need to okay it is selecting department 
and doing the count as the number of employees that is looking correct uh, from employee table and here we are grouping by the department okay so we need just this uh, table we are asking which department has the highest number of employees right so it is going to do the group by on department and it is going to get the department name and count how many employees are there in each department okay so the department name and count the number of employees for each department and then saying group by the department and again order by the number of employees belonging to that department and select only the top one okay so it would get uh, this it department and then number two as a sql output but then when the response is returned back to us again the llm is, uh, uh, is applied so it says the department with the highest number of employees is it department and they have a total of two employees which is indeed correct so here we have it department with two employees uh, the remaining three departments each have only one employee okay so let's quickly summarize uh, it's very very simple all we are doing is here we are importing uh, this uh, sql table query engine okay and then we have made uh, a connection uh, to our database using the create engine okay and then we have created the sql database uh, uh, using uh, uh, llama index uh, sql database and then since we need an llm uh, to convert our query into sql here we are using open ai so here we have supplied the temperature as well as the model right and then we are creating uh, the sql table query engine okay once we have created the query engine uh, so it's simply query engine dot query and when uh, we can start asking the questions okay so it's just uh, two things we need an llm we need a sql database and then simply create uh, the table query engine and start asking your questions so that you will get uh, the response in a human understandable format as well as uh, the SQL queries. Okay, uh, that's all for this video. Thank you very much.